Hey, Brightworks here. What are you looking at? 1974 911S with a Sportomatic. Now, you've seen this car a lot on our channel, but we are pretty much done. We gotta get an alignment, right? This is the one that we did the uh, front suspension on most recently. But since we are getting close to done, I have got to now go back and clean up these heat exchangers. Right? These are brand spanking new heat exchangers, and um, for the first 50 miles, she had um, magnesium valve covers on the intake side. Intakes don't usually leak. These were leaking pretty bad, so we've now since put uh, aluminum ones on there, and everything is, you know, you can see, this has probably got another 75 miles on it since uh, the 50 mile checkup and uh, all as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit this with a little bit of mother's polish so i'll set you guys up here on the uh on the thing and you can see and we'll see if it comes out how's it going to come out i mean i've already tried just regular old uh, brake clean and unfortunately between all the engine sealants and everything they kind of gooped themselves up but uh, there's no way I want to leave this guy looking like this. So we're going to try and clean this up a little bit more before we send her home. Hey, not too bad for first pass. I'm going to probably go get a little bit stiffer of a pad because this spot right here is annoying me and that spot right there. But other than that, now I'm not trying to take off the burnishing, right? Eventually this will have a very nice golden color to it. These guys you can actually keep uh, silver, the stainless polishes and stays nice. But you know, all of the shops use the same parts, right? Dansk SSIs. And you just got to decide, do you want a shop that is going to give you back something like that that you just spent thousands of dollars on? Or do you want a shop that's going to take the time to go, hey, let's clean these things up so they look like the thousands of dollars worth of parts that we just got. All right, so we're going to get on with it and uh, we'll show you the finished product. All right, so the polishing part is done. And for those of you wondering, well, how do you keep that from happening in the first place? Take all the magnesium covers that you have for your engine and throw them in the fucking trash. Because, uh, hey, they're 50 years old, right? The stuff wears out. But uh, speaking of stuff wearing out, compromise. You always have a compromise on every build. There's our compromise. That little fitting is so boogered up, it will not seal. So it just keeps dripping oil. But uh, one day, Porsche Classic will start to rebuild those or Ein Malig, I've asked them to do it too. But uh, yeah, everything's about a compromise. So we got a small oil leak. If it uh, annoys the owner enough after a thousand miles, we'll see if we can have something custom made, but uh, I don't think it will. It leaves make two or three drips after you shut it off and then uh, it stops. But we're gonna get on with it. We gotta add some bow shield. All right, and there you have it. All the remnants are gone, all cleaned up. It's got a coat of bow shield on it. We'll uh, fire it off to cure the bow shield, we'll get some nice smoke show. But uh, yeah, half an hour. I had tried all kinds of degreasers and when oil cooks onto headers, degreasers aren't gonna work. We had to go with a mechanical uh, style. But I'm pretty happy with that. And since I know we don't have any uh, oil leaks coming down on them this should be a pretty long-term solution all right hey thanks for watching and for those of you that are sitting there going hey why don't you just hit it with rouge uh red or green or something like that well we were trying to clean it not polish it right so if we were trying to polish it we'd take them off and we have a whole polishing rig over on the other side of the shop and uh we've done that in the past on some pretty nice custom exhausts but for this one, we were just trying to get it clean. We didn't want that oil gunk sitting there so that people would be like, hey, what's wrong with the brand new SSIs that were on your car? 
Well, now nothing. All right, hey, again, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button. Check us out at brightworks.com.